Let's create some interactive art through this Makey Makey Graphite Drawing tutorial that uses Scratch. We'll gain inspiration from others and nature on the way to bringing our masterpiece to life with some sound effects that we'll gain from some online resources. All this coming your way. Hello world, Surfing Scratcher here, teacher, surfer, programmer, bringing you the goodness of learning to code through video tutorials. If you're new around these parts, then consider hitting that subscribe button to stay in the loop. I've also got a link to the Surfing Scratcher mailing list that you can find in the description below. Educators, if you sign up to this, I'll send out some monthly news and resources straight to your inbox. All right, here's what you're gonna need for this tutorial. Makey makey, alligator clips. You'll need a sketch pad to sketch on. You'll need some graphite pencils, specifically an 8B and a 6B. Eraser, a sharpener, some paper clips, and some split pin paper fasteners. I've got all these materials available on a kit on kit.com. But hey, let's get drawing. The piece of art that we're going to create here in this video is based around the four seasons. So summer, autumn, winter, and spring. I'm using this understanding of the four seasons because it's probably the most common. But down here in the southeastern corner of Australia, I'd like to acknowledge the indigenous perspectives of the six seasons which relate to some different signals in nature, which is pretty cool. I've got a link in the description and a card coming up in the top corner if you're more interested about that. So what I've gone ahead and done is just grab a sheet of paper and I've gone over in a light HB pencil, just an outline here of what I'm looking to do. So I'm gonna have summer represented here in the top right corner and have autumn in the top left, winter and spring down in the bottom right. I love drawing, but I certainly don't claim to be an artist. So here's the helping hand for this one. I use this book here, 20 Ways to Draw a Tree, which is really cool. In this book by Eloise Renouf, we've got different objects that we can go and head and draw. So what I've gone ahead and done is just select a few to represent our seasons. I've got a link in the description if you're interested in that. So what I'm gonna do now is grab my 8B and 6B graphite pencils. I'm gonna go over the tree and create some dark colorings. We're gonna use those to complete our circuits with the Makey Makey. Okay, so you'll see here that I've gone over the tree in a B graphite pencil, and I've also gone over this bird in a B graphite pencil as well. Notice that there is a slight gap between the tree and the birds, because what we want to do is if we touch the two, then we want to play a sound. So this tree here is going to be the ground, and this bird here is going to be connected to a button. Let's go test this out to see if it works. Okay, so you'll see here in the Makey Makey, I've just got this green cable connected up to the ground and I've got the yellow cable connected up to the space key. Let's go hook this up to our drawing. Okay, so I've just got the green cable here, which is attached to the ground on the Makey Makey to the base of the tree. And I'm gonna take this yellow cable and I'm just gonna place it on the bird. So at the moment we have an uncompleted circuit, but when I get my finger and I place it between the bird and the tree, uh, I've hooked up Scratch to play a sound. There we go. So remember, this is just a test. We want to make sure this is working. This isn't the final product. Let's continue. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added in all my conductive objects. So I've got a mushroom here to signify winter, our snowflake, which won't be conductive. I've got a leaf up here for autumn, our bird for summer, and a busy bee here in spring. I've gone ahead and I've already tested all these and I know that they work. So we can go ahead and complete the rest of our image however we want but we know we can connect these objects to some sounds in Scratch. All right, I'm gonna leave my image here. I could keep going, but I wanna jump over into Scratch. So let's head over there now and hook all this up. All right, here we are over in the Scratch Project Editor. I've just gone ahead and taken a photo of our drawing and I've put it here on the stage as a sprite. We've got four objects here. We've got the bird, we've got the leaf, we've got the mushroom and the bee. And we're going to use the tree trunk as the ground connection. So what we'll do is we'll associate each of these objects with a button press. And that button press is just gonna to refer to the arrows on the keyboard. Let's go get those code blocks. I have those code blocks now. We've just got the, when the up arrow is pressed, when the down arrow is pressed, right arrow is pressed, and the left arrow pressed hat blocks. I got those from the events category. Now when each of these buttons is pressed, we wanna play some sounds. So in order to do that, I just wanna jump over and share with you a couple of sound resources. First up, I'm in the YouTube audio library, link in the description. The YouTube audio library is awesome because you can go ahead and you can sort by a mood here, which is awesome. So for summer, I've got this bright mood and I'm also interested in some ambient sound. And I've got one here that's called Rising Sun. So I'm gonna use that for my summer sound. And the other cool thing is that if you click this drop down menu and go attribution not required, you don't need to attribute 
the sounds in the projects that you're working on. So it's really cool. The other sound resource that I'm using is from the Zapsplat website, link down in the description. It's cool because you can download heaps of free sound effects that are sorted into categories for us. Just bear in mind for the free account, you can only download three sounds per 10 minutes. And if you use sound effects from Zapsplat, they just require you to attribute them in your project. That can just be via a text link. All right, let's go get those sounds that I've downloaded into this project. So I'm gonna click the sounds tab of our four season sprite. I'm gonna click the choose a sound and I'm gonna upload some sounds here. I've got that rising sun. I've also got some bees, some wet ground, some leaves and some bird effects here. So I'm just gonna upload all of those into Scratch. Head on over to the sound categories and grab a start sound block. I'm going to associate our left arrow with the summer because summer is here in the top right hand corner. So I want to start the sound rising sun. I'm going to duplicate that and I also want to play some bird sounds. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other seasons and these other arrow keys. All right, I've got our leaves for autumn, I've got our wet ground for winter, and I've got our bees buzzing around for spring. Let's jump back over to the Makey Makey and hook all this up. I've connected Alligator Clips to our arrow keys here on the Makey Makey. If you're a little bit unsure about circuits, go check the card in the top hand corner now. You'll see here on the back of the drawing, I've connected up our Alligator Clips to two paper clips. I've got our green Alligator Clip connected to the ground and our yellow clip connected to the right arrow key, which is the winter sound. And you'll see here that I've got the paper clips here touching the graphite pencil. You don't need the paper clips, you could just directly attach the alligator clips here, but I don't mind this solution. So in order to complete this circuit, I need to be touching the ground and I need to be touching the mushroom. And there's our wet sound effects. For our other three objects, I've got these paper fasteners here and I've inserted them on top of each of the objects and they're gonna be connected to the graphite pencil. If I flip over this piece of paper, I've gone ahead and clipped down all those alligator clips with the back of the paper fasteners. Now we can go ahead and complete the circuits between the gaps of the objects. We'll go with the bird first. Let's try out the leaf. And now let's try out the bee. You may need to do some editing of the sounds. Check out the card in the top corner for a link to that video. So that's it. This is the basics of how you can create an art project using some conductive materials like graphite pencil, some paper clips, some fasteners. You can check out some other materials like metallic paint as well. Let me know how you go. It's time for a scratchy question and I want to know what was the theme for your piece of art? Drop your answer in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks for checking out this Makey Makey art tutorial. Be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed it and check out some other content on your screen right now. You can show your support for this channel by checking out my Patreon page, joining the mailing list or some of my Redbubble team. All links down below in the description. But until then, I'm off to go find a way. I'll catch you in the next one.